Adding multiple masks can be very handy if you want to blur out certain parts, right? Let's go to the color tab. And now let me show you how to blur this out. So let's say I want to blur out the price because it's a surprise. I can just go up here and then I can select the pen tool, right? And then I click here like so. Close it by clicking the first one again. I go to this menu and I change the blur to let's say two, right? So now this area is blurred. But let's say I want to blur out the total supply as well. Well, if I go back here again, I can't select this. I have to select any of these other options. However, that requires me to just move this around and change everything. And that's a nuisance. So that's why I thought I'm going to create this video for you. You select the first node, click Alt S, that will create another node. And then within that node where this is still blurred, you can go back to this menu again, and then you are able to select the pen tool again. Like I said, I want to blur out this total supply. I can go up here again, I can blur it again. And now look, I've got this blurred, I've got that blurred without having to use any of these other masks. Maybe you haven't noticed, but this clip is off. And you can see that up here, position. But because this is black, it's hard to see, right? There's an easy way how to fix this. You could go up here and then you could go to viewer background and you could change this to checkerboard or to gray. Now, if you select checkerboard, you see that it's much easier to see that the clip is off. And now we can just do this and everything is fine again. Right, you have your clip. So you go to the color page and then you click this symbol right here, still albums. That will allow you to see the power grade. You can grade this in the color tab, or if you've done that already, which I have, I've just slapped on my adjustment layer, going back to the color tab. Now this is the clip graded. You can see the grades over here. Now I go right mouse button, grab still, and that gives you this image, right? And you can use that image to color grade your next clip. Now let me show you how by going to the edit tab, just duplicating this by holding Alt, dragging this to the right. So here we have the ungraded clip. We go back to the color tab and now right mouse button and then apply grade. And you see that the same grade is being applied to this clip. And because you've placed this in the power grade, you can use this in any project that you like because it will stay here just like a power bin.